Did you know in 2021, 18 million Americans started gardening and on average, they spent about $500 on garden related items that year. This is big business. In fact, it led up to about a $48 billion industry nationally. Now, just like you, I am excited every year when we get the catalogs and all the seed catalogs to find out what new plants are available. But also, everybody knows spring is the gardening season, and unfortunately, there can be a lot of gimmicks, especially on the internet. So as you're looking for your seeds, be mindful of this, and one easy way to find out whether it's a gimmick or not is to simply follow up with a more thorough internet search. Search on the internet as to what that plant is and if it is available at multiple vendors. A lot of times you might find that some of these gimmicks are only available at one website or they're available at like a crafting website, which means that they're probably not a legitimate plant. If it is a true legitimate plant, you'll often find that they are available at multiple vendors and several of those are often reputable nurseries that have been around for a long time. Recently, I've seen social media posts about a pink sunflower. Now, I'm not going to say that there is no such thing as a pink sunflower, but please look at the picture that they're trying to sell you. If you do a quick internet search for pink sunflower, the first thing that you should do is, again, look for that reputable vendor. Many seed companies like Johnny's and Burpee Gardens have been around for a long time. When you see the pink sunflowers that they are offering, they look a little more realistic and have shades of yellow and maroon. Now these are real plants, while other companies are presenting pictures of hot pink and even purple sunflowers that are likely photoshopped pictures. Furthermore, if you look at the reviews of many of these questionable sources, there are comments suggesting that the plants do not reflect the color in which the customer was anticipating. Many of these gimmicks offer seeds because seeds are the cheapest material for them to repackage and ship. It takes a long period of time for the customer to find out it's a gimmick, and there's plenty of opportunity for the customer to actually never find out that it's a gimmick because the plant might actually die before it blooms. Another example is a few years ago, I was asked by a gardener about some rose seeds that were said to have a rainbow of vibrant colors on each flower. Roses have been hybridized for centuries and do come in some really amazing colors, but if it looks too good to be true or natural, it probably is. Again, a quick internet search of rainbow roses can bring up some beautiful images of roses. And while again, some of these probably are photoshopped, some are likely real images. However, these real images of rainbow roses are flowers that have been dyed. Dyed roses can be purchased as cut flowers and may be seen in the floral industry, but do not expect to grow these in the garden. It's sort of like the blue poinsettias that we see at Christmas time that have been dyed or painted. Now, what can make this whole thing even more tricky is the fact that plant breeding has really advanced. At the same time, heirloom and unique international selections are becoming more available. So we're seeing some more really interesting plants that are truly legitimate plants, such as the cheddar cauliflower, the black beauty tomato, or the glass gem corn. These don't look at all like our traditional white cauliflower, red tomato, or yellow corn. But again, if you search the internet, you will find that there's multiple reputable sources for these seeds. As we begin this gardening season, I want us to all get off on the right foot. Don't let the internet fool you into buying magic beans. Instead, be an informed consumer. We hope you enjoyed this video as part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on the OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.